Hi, it's Edmund here and welcome to this another yet Hi, it's Edmund and welcome to yet another tutorial and today I'm going to show you one option that really changed the way my videos look and especially it's changed the approach um, when it comes to the skin tone. So if you've been following me, you know that I work a lot of uh, I work a lot with models you know, um, when it comes to the beauty shots, it's very important to get the skin, skin tones right. Not only when it comes to the color, but also to make sure that they are soft, and that, um, that it looks crispy, that it looks beautiful. Because this is the way to get uh, the emotions in your video. So here we have Maxine and I've been already working on this, on this video, so I've been uh, um, I chose the levels, I, I chose the white balance and then I created a couple of masks. So we have green, the greens, we have the sand, we have her eyes which I make, let's see if I can zoom in to show it. There it is and as a matter of fact having this as a mask, um, isolating those eyes I can go well every way so if i want her eyes to be green etc uh, whatever but let's 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 keep it like this and then we have the, the the sky as well so to make the video a little bit cooler let's um perhaps you know play around with the sand let's make it even warmer you know let's create this uh sunny look but we are not here to um Mm, you know, we are not here to, to, to work on the look, we are going to work on her skin. You know, and if you're looking like this, um, you know, at her, um, we had an amaz amazing makeup artist, Alina, uh, working on set and it already looks cool. But of course, um, post-production is there to make sure that, um, you know, we get certain things right, that we get even more from our video that we can even we get even more from our model so without further ado I'll, I'll, I'll teach you this one thing that really changed the way I, I, I work in DaVinci so there we go um, and by the way you know there are different ways to to make sure that that um, to make sure that the skin is soft you know we have the we have uh, soften as an, as an effect we have beauty we also have face refinement and especially when you have a paid version of DaVinci then um, you get those um, those features but this one is for free and this one really works good uh, in in the video so there we go we're going to first of all I have here an, a note and we're going to isolate uh, her skin tones There we go. This looks pretty cool. Uh, let's try not to um, get too much hair. But yeah, like this. This looks pretty cool. Let's uh, use the blue radius. Of course, right now we have a little bit of her hair as well. And if we have a shorter shot then we can um, you can we can eliminate it, this as well but for now it's not uh, it's not important we are focusing on her skin tones and let's say that this is this is about right for now so here's a trick it's called mid-tone uh, detail and if you've been watching my tutorials you've already seen me you know using this one on, on several occasions but this one is in the second tab um, on the color reels and it's called MD so it's mid-tone detail and what it does let's let's play it or uh, let's play around as a matter of fact let's uh, let's use the rest of the shot as well if we're going to you know increase mid-tone detail or there it, there you see it we have so much more detail in the mid-tones and we have so much more contrast and of course needless to say in this way in this case it's not really helping us however when you go the other way uh, you go into into the the negative numbers well that's really when the magic begins to happen um, let's see make sure that we have uh, some good quality 
And so, you know, this was, this is like plus 50 and we're, if we're going to go below zero, we're going to like negative 50, then we really see the effect. And I'll show you how it looks in the, I'll show you how it looks. This is before and this is after. Let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go. This is before and this is after. So this looks much more cool, much more beautiful. And if we want to create a little bit of contrast before be, between those effects, then we can, for instance, add add mid tone detail to the other parts, you know, of the of the of the shot that we have. So, for instance, to the sand and to the greens. So we have the 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 trees in the background. Of course, they are blurry, so there is not so much detail in it. But usually. You know, when you have a lot of details in your in your shot, but you really want your, you know, that the, the 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 skin of your model to be to be soft, and you want the other parts of the of the of, of the shots to be more rough, then I really encourage you to experiment with midtone detail. It's such a very you know it's such an easy thing to do, but I still find out that a lot of people just don't know about this. Um, you know this feature so this was Edmund I hope that you like this video very short one and um, if you have any experience with midtone detail you know share it in your comment below you know if you have any questions or if there are many certain things you want to learn about when it comes to Da Vinci um, just let me know and I'm also including this shot um, that you can work with uh, in the description you can download it you can work with it so thanks again thanks for watching short video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye